Hello everybody, welcome back to the World of Warcraft Legion Beta. My name is Necroxus. Today we're taking a look at some of the new pre-expansion stuff they've added in. Um, after you do the Broken Shore event, when you are sent to the Illidari, which takes place after you do the, for the Alliance at least, the Funeral for Varian, um, and the Attack on Stormwind Keep for the Horde, it's after you do the Ascension of Sylvanas part, um, you will be sent to right here on the Alliance, um, in the Mage Quarter, to talk to the Illidari, but this time... As they added new stuff, when you run in here, this is what happens. Talk to this guy. I sacrificed everything. What have you against Legion invasion forces? I am reluctant to interrupt such important work, but I could use your help in a matter of diplomacy. I fear I am about to anger an old friend. Dalaran has been repositioned to defend the Eastern Kingdoms. You'll find it over Dead Wind Pass, just above Karazhan. Please join me here. Alright, so we get a message from Khadgar, and we get the quest, Calling of the Council. Though I am loath to interrupt your fight against the Legion, I must request your help in a matter of diplomacy. We face a grave threat, and we must be at our full strength to overcome it. Some will not agree with this position. Please join me outside the Violet Hold in Dalaran. We have repositioned the city to defend the Eastern Kingdoms. You'll find it over Deadwind Pass above Karazhan. Trust in Lord Illidan's plan. Um, so basically, I have a feeling I know what this is, although I haven't actually done it yet. Um, I have a strong feeling this is going to explain where Jaina goes. Because he says in the cutscene, or the, uh, the quote, um, I fear I'm about to anger an old friend. And they change Jaina's dialogue just slightly... When you're standing in the throne room of Stormwind with all of the, with all of the leaders of the Alliance, um, rather than Jaina just saying some generic, like, we'll help defend the Alliance, raw or fuck the Horde, she basically says, um, we, I will use Dalaran to defend the Eastern Kingdoms, but no Horde will step foot in my city. And then she leaves after Anduin's like, Jaina, no! So I have a feeling we're about to confront Jaina or do something about Jaina in Dalaran, which is going to be a big bummer because I I am an ardent supporter of the new Jaina Proudmoore for as much shit as she gets from fans because she had actual character development and changed her mind on something. People get butthurt about it because they, I guess they would prefer characters to just be exactly the same for the entirety of their existence. Um... But, you know, I, I, I feel, I've always been of the opinion, if you go back and listen to any of my thoughts on anything about Jaina, that it makes sense why Jaina acts the way she is, she does toward the Horde now. You know, they're, they, they really beautifully set up her change in opinion about the Horde. Um, and, she, and it, you know, with everything that happened in Theramore, and then, you know, the end of the Siege of Orgrimmar, when Varian does not take her advice to dismantle the Horde. Um, you know, it just, it flat out makes sense why Jaina is the way she is. And even with the threat of the Legion, and even though Jaina is incorrect in the sense that the Horde did not abandon the Alliance purposefully, like to screw them over, um, they did abandon the Alliance because they were being overwhelmed. And even though Sylvanas was correct in the decision to pull out and retreat, otherwise the entire Horde leadership would have been lost, from the Alliance's perspective, it doesn't look like that. And I wish it would make it a little bit more clear um, on the Alliance's side. Like, maybe Mechatork was there when he saw it all happen. Um, or Jaina was there, or Gen was there. Gen and Jaina are not interested in, like, neutrality. But Mechatork was there. Maybe he could have been the one that was like, hey, it's clear that they had no choice. They had to pull out. But, um, and then Jaina's like, I don't care, blah, 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 blah. They could have added that little five-second extra scene to at least try to explain to the Alliance players that the Horde didn't purposefully pull out just to screw over people. Um, so let's go in here and confront Jaina? Or talk to Khadgar? Archmage Khadgar. Where actually is Archmage Khadgar? Uh, let's do target. Oh, here he is. He's out here. Okay. Khadgar... Knowledge is power. How was the flight in? Easy Seems we moved all around from not. Okay, thanks. Seems we moved all around from one dark, gloomy land to another. At least it's warmer here, and I must admit, being closer to Karazhan brings back memories. How can I help, Archmage? Trust in yourself, champion. 
The Legion's attacks will only intensify. We must do whatever necessary to bolster our strength. I propose we invite the Horde back into the Kirin Tor. You may not like this idea. Some of my colleagues certainly won't. Please trust my judgment. A world at war with itself cannot stand against the Legion for long. The council is already assembled. Let's not keep them waiting. Oh, do I have to talk to him again? Hail and well met. This could be uncomfortable. Are you ready? Address the council, Kadgar. You are our last best hope. Thank you all for gathering on such short notice. Cadgar, we don't have time to waste in meetings. Legion is advancing, and the Horde arms for battle. Then I'll get right to the point. For the Kirin Tor to fight at full strength, we need the mages of the Horde to join our ranks. Never! Do you hear me, Cadgar? Jaina, we know about the pain you've endured, but this is about... They obliterated Theramore. They left us to die on the broken shore. Again and again, they have proven to be monsters. Cowards! I've made my case. With respect, I move for a vote. Very well, but consider your choice carefully. If you let those vermin back into the city, I will not be counted amongst your ranks when you welcome them. In the matter of allowing the Horde into Zalaran and offering membership in the Kirin Tor, I vote aye. <laughs> wow. Uh, so it looks like Jaina and Sir Maroon Reaver both vote nay. The vote carries. I'm sorry, Jaina, but the stakes are higher than they've ever been. Jaina, please. We're doing what's best for Azeroth. Stand with us. So it's, it's two to four. The council is blind to the truth. When the Horde betrays you again, remember who warned you. Farewell. That was difficult. But we must move forward. We will send our invita invitation to the war chief at once. We have a war to win. So he just steps in and takes her place as the leader. Gul'dan and the Legion must be. <sighs> Jaina's reaction was unfortunate, but not expected. She has endured so much. Though it was Garash Hellscream who ordered the obliteration of Theramor, she blames all the Horde for her loss because they didn't fucking stop him. I hate God. I I I'm with the storyline of Jaina. The Legion's attacking. Stop. Fucking Christ. Jaina, the Legion's attacking. Stop being stupid. But Garage ordered it, but everybody amongst the Horde leadership went along with it. Lorthamar, Sylvanas, they both sent their top generals. Vol'jin and Bane were there. Gallywick sent his blessing. They all were there. None of them stopped or tried to stop Garage. None of them. They all were at fault. Just because Garrosh was the one at the leadership doesn't mean that none of them else, none else of them, oh my gosh, I can't even speak, none of the other leaders share any culpability. They all fucking do. They do because they eventually rebel against him because he turns on their own people. I fucking, God, I hate that Blizzard has to put more of this excusing bullshit in there. The Horde is at fault for Garrosh all the way up through and including 5.3. Fuck this. Without you, Azeroth Such full of garbage. Bran, Kedgar, thank the forge I found you. You won't believe it, my brother Magni's back. Bran Bronzebeard, well, this is unexpected. Anyway, so... So the vote was... Um, Carlane votes you? yes. Vargoth honor, votes yes. Jaina votes no. Answerum Runeweaver yes. votes no for some reason. And Modera votes yes. So, Lords have forgotten the Diamond King, my brother Magni, once the King of Ironforge, got changed into a diamond statue by a Titan ritual. He stood frozen in the belly of the city for years, but I just got word that he's up and around, saying he knows something about how to beat the Legion. Look, Necroxus, I don't know if Magni's crazy or if that's even really him, but if there's even a chance where he can help us. I told he, I'm told he muttered the name Ulduar. That's where I'm headed. I'd be obliged if you and Cadgar would have joined me. Oh shit! Keep your eyes on the horizon. Just say the word and we'll be off. I'm ready to go to Stop Ulduar. Memoron gave me a teleport pad to use just in case of emergencies. I'd say this qualifies. Ulduar holds many secrets. I look forward to seeing Magni again. It's been too long. 
Good luck, all of you. Huh. So if you want to know how Magni got petrified, go and read The Shattering, because it's a good book by Christy Golden. Welcome back to Ulduar. The speaker awaits you in the celestial planetarium. Please, follow me. We're just straight up in Ulduar. The speaker? That's my brother Magni, you infernal contraption. I'd wager Ulduar is quieter here than the last time you were here, Bran. The keepers have ordered repairs to Ulduar's infrastructure. Mortal heroes are proficient in battle, but tend to leave a mess. No offense intended. That's a fair point. It took weeks to clean up after the banquet hall after... Hold, hold it. You sense anything odd, Cadgar? Getting a familiar feeling, and I don't like it. Not again. The keeper will make me fill out an incident report. What? What? Uh, what? An unknown voice? You are a pawn of forces unseen? Who the fuck was that? Was that Yogg-Saron somehow still alive? What? I'm sorry. I wish I knew what's happening. I hope they... Is that supposed to be Nazoth? It's gotta be Yogg-Saron. This was his deal. I don't know, man. Kagar, could you help me out, Brosif? A little bit? You're, like, incredibly overpowered. Alright, so we had a faceless echo. So I guess these aren't... I mean, these are echoes of the past, I guess? I don't know. Stop healing yourself, you bitch. The city's defenses have been compromised. Units assigned to safeguard the keepers are not responding to my queries. They might be the old gods trying... Oh, might be the old gods ain't the only ones trying to find their way in. Indeed, I suggest we keep up the pace. Wait, what? Stop the interlopers! I must know what the prisoner finds out. Bran, they're trying to invade my mind! Magni's in there, we gotta save him! Good thing I have experience with fell barriers. Say the word, champion. I'll bring the he I'll bring it down. To be done. Since you have this under control, I I must attend to the other guests. Please excuse me. Let's save Magni. Where you lead, we will follow. Why is the legion here? Kill the mage. Gul'dan wants his head. Inform your master. I've grown rather attached to it. Oh, Cadgar, you cheeky bitch. Alright, well, let's, uh, kill this punk. Bran's just fighting with the pickaxe, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. So both the old gods, why were the... So, but, what, this is, raises so many questions. Like, Cthune and yogg Saron are, like, legit dead. They change it to being like, oh, we fought them back to them being legit dead. Ah, much better. Dude, Magni, you're back. The fuck, even? Magni, it's good to see you again, but why did you leave Ironforge? Why come here? What happens to... I know you have questions, but they gotta wait. Time is important. Or, is short. She wants me to pass along an important message. She... The ritual that changed my body also opened the ears to the voice of Azeroth herself. She ain't just a hunk of rock. She's a titan. Oh, damn. A titan? That actually explains a great many things. Bitch, no, it doesn't. You don't have the chronicle. My own brother turned to diamond and started talking to the titans. There's more I gotta say. Come inside the celestial planetarium and I'll show you the truth. So this whole intro is like, we gotta explain chronicle as fast as possible to people. Do it in one cutscene. Don't we need a key? Brother, I am the key. Okay. Are you ready to go into the plat planetarium? Let's go. Magni snaps his fingers. Oh, we're going to talk to Algalon again. Maybe. Listen to the information Magni Bronzebeard wants to share with you. Remember this place, Bran? Yikes, I'm getting flashbacks of Algalon. The Constellar was just doing his job, such as it was, and in the end, 
You taught him a lesson. Perhaps it is your imperfection, that which grants you free will, that allows you to persevere against all cosmically calculated odds. You prevail where the Titan's own perfect creations have failed. After defeating the old gods, the Keepers were given the task of ordering the world. The Titans gave him five mighty artifacts, the pillars of creation. With their work, When their work was done, the Keepers sealed the pillars away, but like so many relics, they ended up in the hands of mortals. Your tale sounds familiar. I'm sure I've heard of these pillars before. Aye, Cadgar. The knowledge was placed in the care of the Guardian of Tyrus Fall, and remains there still. Oh, okay, in Karazhan. We gotta go back to Karazhan. Karazhan, of course! I likely read one of these artifacts in one of Medivh's ancient chronicles. Hmm. You must find the pillars. Combine their power. Conceal the Legion's gateway to Azeroth. It's the only way to save her. It's not every day a planet points me to my own library. Thank you, Magni. I will go to Kar Karazhan at once. Necroxus, follow me through the portal when you're done here. What? What of you, brother? Will you go back to Ironforge? No, Bran. She has other duties for me. But I'd be obliged if you stay for a chat. Magnia Bronzebeard, the speaker. I like that, brother, but I think my friend here has some other work to do. I reckon so. Take care, Necroxus. We'll see one another again. Bran! You're a diamond! Or not Bran. Magni! There's a really cool picture of uh, Diamond Magni in uh, the inside cover of The Shattering when it happens to him. So, it's another reason to go see that. Are we going to Karazhan now? We're just going everywhere. This is still... By the way, guys, this is still part of the introduction to Legion. Like, this is going to come out before the expansion actually does. Our trip to Ulduar was quite eventful, but we have more work ahead of us. Is, is it Dalaran still... Yeah, it's still there. Gul'dan and the Legion. Must be stopped. Magni's information was crucial to our efforts against the Legion, and it was good to see him again. Now to find that tome about the Pillars of Creation. Magni's information was enlightening. It should prove handy to a friend who has the ear of a titan. Oh, it should prove handy to have a friend. It's time to head into Karazhan. Not that I need to remind you, but it can be a dangerous place. There are countless strata of spells woven throughout the tower, and the interactions of the forces within can be unpredictable. Be on your guard. I'll join you inside. I need a moment to gather my thoughts. This place holds a lot of memories for me. Yeah, dude, it's where you got well, artificially friend. aged up. Until we meet again. Okay, let's do it, I guess. This is this is awesome. So they sent us to Dalaran in Car by Karazhan and then to Ulduar and then into Karazhan. Cool. Meet Cadgar inside Karazhan. I have an idea where to find the tome discussing the Pillars of Creation. But getting there may present some challenges. We have much to do and little time to do it. When you are ready, we will begin. There is much to be done. The Burning Legion power grows. We haven't time to spare. Let us begin. You are our last, best hope. I have been away too long. I fear the tower has fallen into disrepair. Please, pardon the mess. Okay. Ha. <laughs> I remember the day I arrived, so young and nervous, sent by the Kirin Tor to study under the famed mage Medivh. Care to borrow some blinders? Other students have found them quite helpful for ignoring those distracting visions. Uh, no, thank you. If I may ask, what became of the other students? I was not the first to sent to study under Medivh. I was, however, the only one he accepted as his apprentice. I like how the young version of Cadgar is just his model. <laughs> earning his trust took time cleaning the library wasn't a glamorous start to my career but it taught me to the, that to Mediv everything was a test preparation for a greater destiny the last time I was here I left behind a few safety measures there are countless secrets within these walls and many who would stop at nothing to learn them which means get ready to fight Hmm, it appears my safeguards may have been altered. Keep an eye out while I open the way. Alright. Hold off these constructs that are obviously going to activate to fight me. Echo of Medivh? That which was foreseen come to pass. The circle nears completion. Sentries, attend to our guests. The sentry, look out! Why is the Echo of Medivh doing this? 
I guess it is just an echo of Medivh. Oh, okay, well. The tower's defenses have been compromised! I sense tendrils of Medivh's magic thwarting, thwarting my safeguards. Also, the legions here. I guess. Oh my god. The legion is definitely here. Don't mind that broom. That won't hold them long. We must get to the library. Sargeras knows we're after the location of the pillars. I need your help to bring down this barrier. Fucking Sargeras? What? <laughs> All right. Give these rune a try. A hand, if you would. Uh. Woohoo! The wards! More centuries are coming for us. Fortunately, I always keep a few tricks up my sleeve. This book holds a spell that will take you to the library. Get going and be ready for anything. What? What? Okay. I gotta go. Oh, cool. This is a really cool, like, trip back through memory lane. Destroy the agitated tomes. Oh, this is where we fought, uh... Shade of Iran. Interesting. All right. Intruder alert. All right. Well, I'm getting enlightened. I'm getting enlightened by books. No. All right. Well, these are slowly dying. Die books. What you get for being a book? Um. If we were to have any hope of holding back the Legion, I need to get the sentries back on our side. You'll have to subdue the Guardian before my calibration can take effect. No need to be gentle. Where? Where? Oh, I see. Let's get him. Activating defense mode, EL2S. All right, I did it. Another one over here, right? Yep. EL7M. All right. This one in the middle. Oh, a big boy. Activating defense mode EL7M. It's the same as the last one, but not the first one. I don't know what significance that holds. Probably none. Reactivate the sentries once I finish their adjustments. I'll reinforce the door and send the guardians against the legion. That will buy us time to find what we're after. Uh, okay. Reactivate the guardians. So this is pretty crazy. So we ha you have to keep in mind that threat detected, pursuing, that the order of events is you're just chilling in Stormwind or Orgrimmar. And then it's like, oh shit, the Legion's coming back. And then you go talk to your leader. They send you to the Broken Shore where shit goes down. Gul'dan opens the giant portal. Vol'jin or Va and Varian die. And then you're immediately sent to Dalaran Really? I've really, really had enough of that demon. The knowledge of the pillars is here. We must find that tome. Where? Hail and well met, champion. Where's the... Where's... Aha! Ah, that could be it. Yes, that's it! 
The binding is worn, but the book radiates power. Its author's name is inscribed in glowing letters. Elodi. Oh, damn. This is the Cadgar's instructions regarding the tome. Take the tome, Necroxus. The information it holds is vital. I got it already. We didn't have what we came for, but I'd be remiss if I didn't try to bolster Karazhan's defenses before I leave. I owe that much to Medivh, the good man he once was, not the pawn of Sargeras he became. Get that book in Modera's hands in Dalaran. I'll join you soon, and thank you. I like how this seems to imply that he's going to die here, and we just have to leave. So, like I said, the Broken Shore shit goes down. V Varian and, and Vol'jin die. You're sent to Dalaran, where Jane is like, fuck you, and then leaves. And then you go to Ulduar, where Magni's back alive, and tells you, oh shit, the Azeroth is a Titan, actually. Apparently the Legion is invading outside. And then you go to Karazhan and find out the information of the pillars. This is crazy. Greetings. Do we have the... <laughs> I like how she's just so nonchalant. Uh, do you have something for me? Not long after you left, the first wave of demons struck. We're holding them at bay for now. I'll keep this tome safe until we have a chance to study it. Good work in there. I should like to delve into the libraries of Karazhan myself one day. At least, I think I would. Dalaran is under siege, hero. The Legion intends to knock us out of the sky. Oh, shit. We need the Pillars of Creation to send the demons back to the Twisting Nether and save our world. Meet me in Dalaran over Dead Wind Pass. I have a plan. A horribly dangerous plan. But a plan nonetheless. Bitch, I'm already in Dalaran. You sent me there. Obtaining information on the Pillars of Creation before the Legion could stop us with a considerable victory. It won't bring back those we lost on the Broken Shore, but I believe it will help us avenge them. Dalaran has become a focal point of the Legion's assault. Your presence here is crucial. If the demons are putting this much effort into attacking the city, it means Dalaran will play a pivotal role in the struggle to save Azeroth. Safe travels. Meet Cadgar in the Chamber of the Guardian. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, man, they're just... Everyone's... Shit's going down! Knowledge is I'm relieved we both made it out of Karazhan in one piece. I showed up Karazhan's defenses as best I could, but I have little confidence they'll hold. We have other matters to focus on in any, any case. Gul'dan has sent his demon dogs loose upon Dalaran. He wants the city gone, but we're not going to let him have his way. I believe Dalaran will become the focal point of our campaign against the Legion. Neutral ground where the heroes of every kingdom can join together against our mutual foe. Let's get to work, Necraxus. Anomalous anomalies. Dalaran's move to this location was intended to be temporary, but we may need to depart sooner than we expected. Blinking a city across the world is no mean is, is er, blinking a city across the world is no mean feat. The magnitude of energies involved can lead to unexpected side effects. Arcane anomalies are causing mischief throughout the city. Their presence could destabilize any attempt to blink again. We don't have time to let them dissipate on their own, Necroxus. I have a device that will help speed things along. Without you, Azeroth will surely... Archmage Modera and I will continue examining the tome we found from Karazhan. We will find those tome, uh, those pillars, Necroxus. Hmm, that gives me an idea. We'll discuss it when you've handled those anomalies. This is nuts. This is really cool, though. This is, uh, I think, easily the coolest intro event to an expansion they've ever had. I mean, honestly, the Scourge invasion was awesome, but it was, like, not really that impressive. Uh, now that, like, taking this into consideration, where it's, like, multiple scenarios and, like, an actual interweaving storyline. Uh, cool. Neutralize. Get out of here, Imp. Get out of here, Imps and Fell Hunters. Oh, the end... The engineering trainer's here to help me. Thank you, little lady. Uh, is there a thing in here? No, it's outside. <coughs> Aha, here's the anomaly. Go! I forgot that I can mount up here. Damn it! I say that just as I get into combat. 
Because we're still technically on Eastern Kingdoms, right? Yeah, I can fly! Kiss that goodbye. Alright. Where are we going? Back to Kagar inside here? Yes, here we go. Alright. Gul'dan and the Legion <sighs> must be stopped. Good work. There are still some stray anomalies floating about, but you've negated enough interference that we should no longer be prevented from re relocating the city. Now we just need to determine our destination. Author! Author! We've reviewed the tome recovered from Karazhan, though we found references to the Pillars of Creation. One piece of crucial information was omitted from the book. Where to find the artifacts? Fortunately, we have access to an expert on the subject. The author, Elodia, was the first guardian of Tirisfall. His spirit is forever bound to the Forge of the Guardian, which has been hidden in our safekeeping. I think the time has come to call him forth. Where you lead, we will follow. Speak to me when you're ready to begin. I would summon the spirit of Elodi, the first guardian of Tirisfall. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Farewell, Do it! my friend. Until we meet again. I call forth the spirit of the guardian! Greetings, Elodi. I am Cadgar, Archmage of the Kirin Tor. The Guardian stands ready. Oh, uh, what? The Burning Legion has returned. To stop them, we've scoured the library of Karazhan for a tome you authored called Notable Antiquities of Ancient Azeroth. Elodie's not saying anything. We're seeking five ancient artifacts called the Pillars of Creation. Your writing didn't specify where to find them. Elodie is not saying anything. Huh. Finding these artifacts is crucial. The pillars are the only thing that can seal the Legion's portal in the tomb of Sargeras. Trust the wisdom Elodie? of the council. Elodie, you wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna respond? Brosif? <laughs> okay. That gives us a place to start at least. We will search every inch of the Broken Isles if needs be. Okay, I'm guessing he's going to be like, They're at the Broken Isles. They're all there for some reason. I do know one comment Elodie says is something to the effect of, Ah, Archimage Cadgar, the one who rejected the mantle that I once wore, which confirms that Cadgar was offered the position of Guardian, but uh, turned it down. Hail. And well met. We may not have the exact location of the Pillars of Creation, but at least we know where to start. We'll explore every corner of the Broken Isles. The Legion's attack is intensifying. We must prepare to move Dalaran to the Broken Isles. This is a temporary quest to get you to Dalaran in the Broken Isles. Please take this portal and begin your artifact quest. Oh, I see. Trust in yourself, Jack. There's probably going to be a cutscene here that's like, we're floating, or we're teleporting the city away. Interesting, so this is how you get to the Dalaran and Broken Isles now. Ah, uh, okay, and then you talk to this guy, and then you start your artifact quest, I'm guessing, right? Well met. Attack on Stormwind, they just think the king, blah, 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 this is the same thing. Go with honor, friend. Yeah, and then you start your artifact quest, I'm guessing. I think, at least. If an NPC pops up and asks for my help, then yes. Uh... Maybe not? Let's go talk to Cadgar and see if because we're in the Broken Isles now, right? Yeah, we are. Hmm. Cadgar, you got anything to say to me, Brosif? I don't know. Somehow they just elected you to leadership, to le the leader, like instantly. Thank the light I found. Oh, here we go. Okay. I must speak with you at once. All right. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I I heard that they added a bunch of new stuff to the introduction. Just a reminder. Once again, this is the introduction to Legion. This happens before the expansion even comes out. Uh, Legion is turning out to be great. It, I require your aid with a matter yes. of the utmost importance. Thank you. If it just wasn't for Suramar, Legion it has the opportunity to be the best expansion. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more awesomeness from the beta. But until then, uh, thanks and yeah, farewell.